Hi, my name is Marina Crystal from Northeast Mobile Swallow and Speech Services. I'm here to give you some information about what our corporation does in skilled nursing facilities. Currently, pneumonia is the leading cause of death in skilled nursing facilities. And among those patients, the pneumonia is caused by aspiration. The first person who should be notified when a person is actually suffering of any signs and symptoms leading to pneumonia is your in-house speech language pathologist. That person would do a screen and eventually an evaluation at the bedside to determine what the possible cause may be or if it's related to aspiration pneumonia. At that point, a speech pathologist can use their clinical judgment, but there is no way to know what the physiology and the function of the swallow is, and if that's causing the problem. Other problems that may lead to aspiration could be poor mouth care, but most of the time there is some sort of swallowing difficulty, either an oral dysphagia, a pharyngeal dysphagia, an esophageal dysphagia, or all three. The only way to know exactly what is going on is if the patient has an instrumental exam. Our company provides my favorite exam, which is the FEES. It stands for Fiber Optic Endoscopic Evaluation for Swallowing. This is a non-barium, non-radiologic instrumental exam that we use right at bedside in the facility. The person is tested in the position in which he or she actually eats. We use the food that the facility actually provides, and there's no barium to alter the consistency in order to get a real observation of how the swallow is functioning. This test is done uh, in-house, like I said, and after the test is completed, we share those results with the staff. It's recorded so they're able to actually see the swallow and see why we are making the recommendations we are making. My findings have shown laryngeal pharyngeal reflux. We've seen thrush causing the problem where there's no real functional swallowing problem. We have seen that medication pass may be the problem. Um, and we're able to make the recommendation so the person is on the least restrictive diet. We have a lot of nurses and different staff deciding that a chin tuck may be the best way to go. And you can be really impeding the patient swallow when you're starting to incorporate strategies that you cannot see via the endoscopic view. The endoscope also is inserted into the nose and lidocaine is used so it's comfortable. The, the endoscope does not poke around the throat. It's a bird's eye view of the pharynx and the larynx so you'll, you're able to see the swallow. So at this point, recommendations are made. The facility is also in service for any staff that need education and a full report follows. So if you have any questions and you'd like to inquire about this service, you can go to www.swallowingdisorders.com or you can email me at marina at swallowingdisorders.com. Thank you.